Okay, so before I disappear on my jollies, I wanted to tell you, I've got my little, my little case with me, my bronzing kitten. I just wanted to quickly talk to you about the bronzers. Now we've got the South Tanning Body Lotion, which is this. And it's like, it's like chocolate. Gorgeous. And it doesn't smell like the tanners that I know. I mean, whether it's whether there's different tanners that smell different, I don't know. But all the tanners that I've used have had that horrible, horrible smell. Okay. And we've also got the self tanning spray. Now, what a lot, I've seen a lot of people do is using the spray on the face, um, the face and the neck, and this on the on the body. Um, but you can use. It's perfectly fine for using on your face because I've also know people that use it on the face. Okay, now they've also released this, which is called the Beachfront Body Applicator. Now, to do this, it's a similar principle as with the uh, blending buds. You need to wet them, squeeze out all their excess moisture, and pat them so it's damp. And what you do is you use that to rub it in. Okay. Now, I, because this was actually out of stock, well, not out of stock, it was actually on my order, but it was on back order. Um, because this didn't come when my tanning lotion came, I have just been using a mitt. Um, and to be honest, this has worked a treat. I, the first time I tried this, um, I was panicking. Um, I put quite a lot on, I don't know if you saw in the picture that I did, it was about an inch um, that I put in it and I was working it um, and avoiding excess, like working it too much, um, it's difficult to actually show you because I'm fully dressed, um, because the thing is with this, it's brown, it's actually got bronzer in it so you can actually see where you've gone and you also get an instant colour okay um, and it also develops over time so within a couple of hours three to three to eight hours and so what I've been doing is I've been showing in the morning and then at night um, I've been putting this on and then I wake up the next day and I've got a lovely brown glow to myself it's not orange uh, which is one thing that I struggle with um, I even had a fake tan done, uh, a spray tan should I say, and I felt, it felt fake if you know what I mean, uh, whereas this, I mean I've done this um, a few days ago, I've not topped it up since and I've showered um, and I've got what feels like, it, it's taken that pale white out of it, um, and if I just show you here, if I take this off. Um, I'm just going to put a tiny little bit, um, obviously you're going to need a little bit more, just dab it and then work it through. Now avoid rubbing it too much because what happens is that bronzer that is in there will kind of congeal. You know when you've got dry skin and you rub it with a towel and it kind of starts to lift and you get all the dead skin? It's a bit, it goes a bit like that if you rub it too much. Okay, so I've just done, as I've just rubbed that in very gently onto my arm and then with any excess you just work it down into your hands. The same goes for your legs, so you start on the fleshy bits um, and then you sweep over your knees and then you go down onto your shins and then sweep over your foot. So you're not paying too much attention to the knee, the ankle and the top of the foot, which is where it's noticeable, where you put in your tan. You know when you get those really horrible orange dry spots. So if you just sweep over gently with the excess that's on your hand and then you're not going to get that concentration on the dry bits because when it's dry it just seems to soak it up more and you get you get that horrible um that horrible look okay 
Now what I would recommend is if you aren't using your mitt is to wash your hands straight away. If you're doing your whole body um, you need to do it in stages so you'll do your legs um, and then or one leg and then wash the other leg then wash because um, you're going to get fake tan on the inside of your hands which doesn't look attractive um, and it does it does seem to go off pretty quick I mean that that's dry on my on my arm now I would happily go to bed with that and not worry about it transferring on my covers um, so as I say what I were using was the mitt and that gives it a lovely that seems to go over a lot easier than because I find it gets stuck in the crevices of your hand so it goes uneven as well um, so that is the, 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 the lotion the spray is the same principle it's a, it's a, it's a thinner solution so it will spray um, and as I say that's been on the Nothing. It's fine. You did that ages ago. I noticed that the other day. Well, I need a plaster. You don't need a plaster. Okay, sit down and watch the telly. I'll be down the Okay, so it's the same principle as with the, the spray. The, the same formula, but this is a lot more liquid. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this will spray easy on your face. So you just give it a quick spray and then just, you know, just feather it in, just to even it out. And then when you're doing it, don't forget to work it into the neck and around the back of the neck as well and into the ears, just so that it looks natural. Uh, as I say, I did do mine. It was a couple of days ago now. And I haven't... If you, if you do it religiously for a couple of days, then you until you build up the tan, the colour that you want, and then you can do it every every couple of days, every every two days, every three days, just to keep that col that colour topped up. Um, and as I say, that's that's a lovely colour for me. You know, I would actually be happy to walk around with that. It looks like I've got. I'm not white. <laughs> okay. So as I say, the lotion, the spray, and any tanning mitt would be absolutely fine. I love this. This is only one pound fifty. It's brown, so you can't see. It's not going to stain. Okay, so there you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.